Over the years, many changes have been made to steam locomotives to improve their efficiency. Some designers tried changing the shape of the firebox, some used different types of boilers, and then there was one man who thought steam locomotives would be improved if they had mohawks. Invented in 1951 by Dr. Adolf Giesel Gieselingen, the Giesel ejector worked as a replacement for a steam locomotive's blast pipe. To simplify, as a steam locomotive is moving along, used steam from the cylinders is exhausted into the engine's smoke box. As the steam leaves the engine's funnel, it pulls air with it to create a draft. The draft helps pull hot air from the firebox through the boiler tubes, helping heat the boiler and increase pressure. This in turn creates a sort of positive feedback loop, whereby the more an engine works, the more frequently the cylinders exhaust, pulling more hot air through the firebox to heat the boiler and so on. The main problem the problem with this comes when an engine is travelling at slower speeds or remains stationary as there is little exhaust steam to help maintain airflow through the boiler. To amend this, many locomotives were fitted with blowers, a device that would release steam from the boiler directly into the smoke box to help strengthen or maintain the draft. Another problem was back pressure, which essentially was caused if there was too much pressure in the smoke box, and as a result would disrupt airflow. Giesel's design was intended to improve boiler draft draft for locomotives that exhausted steam at a certain pressure by replacing the blast pipe with several, smaller fan-shaped pipes, the layout of which resulted in the engine's funnels taking on a longer, more narrow shape, giving them their distinct mohawk-esque appearance. The supposed main benefit of the Giesel was it allowed locomotives to burn poorer quality coal and use less of it while also increasing an engine's performance by 20%. Naturally, many railway companies around Central Europe had their engines fitted with Giesel ejectors, including Germany, Austria and Czechoslovakia, with some railways as far as Africa, China and Japan fitting them as well. British Railways was offered a free trial of the ejector in 1958, but turned it down. Giesel instead approached the Tallyhlin Railway in Wales, and one was fitted to number 4, Edward Thomas. Here however was where some of the drawbacks of Giesel's design were shown. It was found the new ejector provided little improvement to Edward Thomas's performance. On top of this, the claims that the engine was saving 40% on coal were disputed by the railway's chief engineer. The experiment showed that not every engine benefited from Giesel's design, and as such, led to British railways mostly foregoing installing them. Other railways too found that Giesel's claims of saving up to 12% on coal were a little optimistic, as the maximum recorded saving in practice was only ever 8%. Most railways found that the amount of coal saved in the long term roughly balanced out the cost of fitting the ejectors. On top of this, not every engine received the supposed boost in performance that the ejectors offered. British Railways tried fitting a 9F with one with indifferent results. Some drivers even found the Giesels had problem lifting smoke clear of the cab, and they suffered from poor visibility as a result. All that being said, some engines genuinely did benefit from having Giesels installed, with many tank engines used by the National Coal Board of the UK being equipped with them to help improve efficiency. In 1962, when it was found the desired spark arrester would suffocate its blast pipe, bullied Battle of Britain class fighter command was fitted with a Giesel instead. After some adjustments, footplate crews found it improved the engine's performance, however, British Railways didn't bother fitting any more due to their commitment to dieselisation. In 1986, City of Wells was fitted one after facing similar problems, and reportedly the change has improved the engine's performance. Many engines on European, African and Asian railways did benefit from Giesel's ejector, and as a result may have prolonged the life of steam on several railways, with several examples of engines being fitted with them having been preserved. Overall then, despite Giesel's ejectors not being a universal upgrade for all steam machines, they did prove to be quite the boon for the engines they did work on. Just going to show that, while you can't help everyone, you can still help others exceed. Subscribe for more.